Can you all imagine just having a thought and being able to turn that thought into a fully functioning app within minutes? Have you ever had an idea for an amazing app that you could sell, but you had no idea how to code it or create it? Well, I'm telling you I have, and according to this article, $127 billion was spent on the downloading and use of apps in the year of 2024 alone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can build one with just a prompt. You don't need coding skills, you don't need design skills, and you don't have to wait on expensive developers. I'm not only going to be showing you how it works, but then I'm also going to be showing you how you could potentially turn this into a real business that can bring in income. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and dive in. Let me start off by just telling you guys a quick crazy story. Back in 2021, a software engineer named Josh Wardle built a simple little word puzzle game just for his partner. Now it wasn't meant to be a business, so it didn't have ads. It didn't have an app store, no flashy features. It just consisted of one five letter word a day that you had to solve. But here is where it gets wild. Within two months, Wordle, and that's what he called it, exploded from a few dozen players to a million players around the world. And on top of that, in early 2022, the New York Times swooped in and bought it for seven figures. So that just started out as a web browser game and it turned into millions of dollars off of just a side project. What made it so powerful is that it was incredibly simple. So it was easy to play, easy to share, and addictive because you only got one puzzle a day and that built the daily habit and it caused people to want to post those daily results every day online. Now here's the part that I really hope inspires you is that Josh wasn't aiming to get rich. He didn't even start with the app store. Again, it was a browser game, but because he kept it simple and fun, it went viral and it ended up turning into a life changing amount of money. So imagine this, what if your idea, even a tiny one could spark the same kind of wave with tools that we have today, you don't need to know how to code to try. You just need the idea the spark and the guts to put it out there. So here is the fun part, you guys, and that is the actual creation of the app. I wanna show you how I created a game just like Wordle in about five minutes. And the tool that I used for this is Hostinger Horizons. Now this tool is an AI powered, no code app and website builder that you can use with just a simple prompt. So let me go ahead and show you guys in real time. I am here on Hostinger Horizons. By the way, if you guys wanna follow along, I do have a direct link in the description box down below that's going to take you directly to this page. I also have an amazing coupon code here on screen. It's going to get you a great discount if you do want to get signed up with one of their paid plans. Okay, first things first is that you need a great prompt for this tool. I had no idea how to write a great prompt, I'm not gonna lie. So I just went over to ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to create it for me. Here's the exact thing that I typed into ChatGPT and as you guys can see within 10 seconds, it spit out an amazing prompt for me to then take over to Hosting Air Horizons and give it a prompt for this amazing app. So I just copied what ChatGPT gave me and I pasted it right here into Hosting Air Horizons. In about five minutes, it created this app and I just wanna go ahead and take a look at it and kind of compare it to that Wordle app. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I created this off of just a prompt. And as you guys can see, it's pretty comparable to the Wordle app. Now the Wordle app has been out a while now, so it has had some time to, you know, go through a lot of improvements and all of that good stuff. I mean, I would personally say that this is absolutely amazing for just a single prompt. The stuff that AI can do is absolutely incredible to me. Now I just kind of want to switch things up a bit and I kind of want to give you a different scenario and see what else this can do. So let's say that you're a business owner and you need an app for your small business, right? Maybe you're a content creator and you want an app that you can connect with your followers, or maybe you're an entrepreneur and you want to make apps for other businesses. Truly, you could go in any direction with this, but for this video and for this example, let's just kind of stick with the idea that you run something like a mobile laundry service business and you want an app or website for your business where your customers can go book directly through you to help increase profits and easeability for your customers. So let's see how this tool can create an app specifically for that scenario. So again, I asked ChatGPT to give me a thorough prompt and I told it to go off of the popular laundry service website, Poplin. Here is the prompt it gave me, extremely thorough, extremely long. I just took it, copied it, pasted it right back in Horizons. And then again, after a few minutes, you guys, here is that finished app. After I looked through it, I noticed that there were a couple of things that I would personally want to go in and edit, which is great that you can easily do that. So if you do want to edit something, obviously you can do that by hitting the little edit button right up here at the top. But also you can go to the left here and you can instruct the AI to change what you can't 
change with the little edit button. So for example, like here at the bottom where it said 250 per pound, I wanted it to say $3 per pound, but it didn't give me that option within the edit tab. All I did was go here to the left and instruct it to change that to $3 per pound. And within maybe 60 seconds, it had changed that. So it does give you a couple of ways to edit. Now you can go into a lot more complex editing here on the left. So if you wanna add additional features to your app, if you wanna add things on the back end, you can instruct the AI and it will write it into the code for you. I also wanna note that for a web app like this, you're gonna find it really valuable that they give you the capability now to connect your Stripe account so that people can easily pay and you can receive payments. Along with that, you had the super base ability, which allows for user signups, logins, data storage, and more. Okay, now once you are ready to publish your app, all you have to do is go right up here to the right and select publish and within seconds it is published. And then a quick note here is that Hostinger is a one-stop shop where you can get custom domains, as you can see here. You can get hosting, of course, and then even professional emails for the web app you're launching. But now I just wanna briefly discuss some ideas on how you could potentially make this into something profitable for you or a potential business idea for using a tool like this. First things first, the tool is amazing in and of itself. And if you're a business owner or an individual with an idea for an app, App, but again, you don't have those coding skills to bring it to life. This tool alone could be the game changer for you in creating something amazing for yourself to scale your own business. However, there's also the potential for providing this service to other businesses out there. So businesses pay for convenience, say fitness trainers, salons, real estate agents, all of these type of service-based businesses need booking systems. And that's just one example of why somebody would want an app. If you're a freelancer, you could offer Horizons built apps and websites as custom solutions to businesses. Now to give you an idea of how profits could look, you would be paying around 20 to $40 a month, the cost for Horizons. That could turn into three to $500 per app that you created for a business and sold. Now this would of course require that you learn the tool, learn how to edit properly to provide exactly what it is that businesses would be looking for. And then there's also the upsell potential for a business like this. So for example, adding SEO, adding e-commerce and offering ongoing hosting and management for a website as well. So now let me just go ahead and briefly place on screen kind of like the blueprint for this potential side hustle and the step-by-step -step process. Process. So first things first is pick a niche. So local services, hair salons, trainers, etc. Number two would be build a sample app within Horizons to place into a portfolio to then market to businesses to kind of show them what you would offer. Number three would be then to show it to prospects. So post on LinkedIn, post on Facebook groups, email local businesses and get that profile out so that businesses can see exactly what it is that you're offering. Next would be charge a setup fee. So that would be something around two to $300 plus, depending on what you wanted to charge, plus optional monthly maintenance for the app or website. And then you could of course scale by creating reusable templates for multiple clients. So once you get the tool down, once you have a great template in mind, a great way of going about instructing the tool and coming up with amazing designs, you can then use that to scale your business for other businesses. Again, that is just a potential avenue. But if you have an idea, like the gentleman in the beginning, Josh Wordle, who had an idea, but just executed it without turning it into paid ads or even an app in the beginning, that great idea then turned into over a million dollars for him. So you could also be someone out there who doesn't have the coding skills, but has the idea, this tool could bring it to life for you. So quite honestly, you guys, here's the bottom line. The gap between having an idea and having a business nowadays has completely collapsed. These amazing AI tools like the one I just showed you hosting our horizons, lets anyone create and launch apps in minutes, no code needed. So if you've been sitting on an idea or you just want a new business idea, hopefully this video was inspirational for you. Again, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can try it out for yourself. And if you want an additional 10% off, use my code here on screen, all caps, Kimberly Mitchell, and tell me in the comments, what's the first app that you would build if you could do so in just 10 minutes? If you guys found this video cool or inspirational in any way, please don't forget to hit the like button. As always, thank you guys so much for all of your continuous support, and I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.